terrible time. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. And though it is the smallest of all seeds, when it grows, it is the largest of the garden plants and becomes a tree, so that the birds come and perch in its branches. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The parables are about Jesus. This is about Jesus. It gives us a chance to talk about the theology of the cross. Uh, the theology of the cross is different from the theology of glory because we always want to look for the impressive things of this world. We always want to look for the... Um, the Christianity that is miraculous in its practice, that is heartfelt and all-inspiring and deeply and truly impressive in a way that nobody in the world could ever possibly disagree with it, because why would anybody want to disagree with us? We're right. But the theology of the glory is always about us. The theology of the cross is about Jesus. And it is not particularly impressive because it's about a cross. Uh, you see, when Jesus was incarnate, when he came to this world, it was not a particularly impressive thing. Uh, in fact, most people who looked at Jesus never actually could perceive that this was, in fact, God made flesh. We, we might be able to say that he was a very wise man or that he had some neat ideas or even sometimes along with the, uh, the, the Pharisees that he was a, a teacher, uh, maybe even did some miracles. But to say he is God-made man to die upon the cross to save the entire world by his sacrificial death and resurrection, that's a different thing. The, para, uh, the, the theology of the cross, though, is, as unimpressive as it is, the thing that yields the most fruit. You see, this is about Jesus, who, when he was at his most glorious, didn't look like much because he hung naked between two thieves to bleed for you, for me, and for all. He died in a way that would be completely unassuming apart from the resurrection, which showed that the fact of the matter is this worked. The theology of the cross is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of all gifts, because here is the forgiveness of sins for you, me, and for all the world. When we look to the cross of Christ, it's easy to want to look past it as sort of a we got to get to Easter moment or even just a that happened. But now where can I find Jesus in my heart? Or I don't know, but rather we look where he's promised to be. We look in the word and the sacraments. We live inside of the bows of the tree of the cross where here we find life. Here we find a home that is everlasting, that is unending. The theology of the cross is like the mustard seed, but we find Jesus who, though he doesn't look assuming in his death for all, still brings about the greatest gift of all because the healings, as impressive as they were, only helped a handful of people. And the walking on water was great, but uh, I still got to swim. But when Jesus died on the cross for me, it saved my body, my soul, my life because I am tied to his resurrection in my baptism and so are you. We look for Jesus in the parables. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.